he's really close. They're shooting at it. Are you serious? Yeah, they shot at it. They hit it. No they hit fucking it. way. Oh my gosh. This seems like deja vu, folks. Once again, we are tracking balloons that we don't know the origins. So, it's about this time last year that it happened. So, repeat of 2023. Are they going to fucking shoot it down? Are they just going to let it collect all the data? Do we know? No. Will they tell us the truth? No. So, here we are again. Okay, so here we go again. Just about a year later, we have yet another spy balloon. Could be Chinese, could be from somewhere else, but another spy balloon has been spotted making his way across the United States. Joe Biden them um, sitting on their hands. This time he responded a little bit faster because of the criticism from last year. So they sent fighter jets up there to see what the hell was going on. And <laughs> they're trying to tell us, oh, it's not a threat. Nothing to see here. It's just some mysterious unknown flying object some spy balloon could be from anywhere but we don't know but don't worry about it it's completely fine might have chemical weapons in it might have some type of virus some type of biological payload drop on the city but we don't know we don't know what's inside of it but we're just going to tell you guys it's not a threat nothing to see here continue with your lives continue being brainwashed and thinking about what we want you to think about we don't want you thinking about this spy balloon we want you blaming the Republicans on our failed proxy war in Ukraine. We want you to blame the Republicans for all of Biden's failures and make sure that you guys are believing the shit sandwich that we're selling you on Bidenomics, et cetera. We want you thinking about that. Don't think about national security risks. Don't think about all of the Chinese spies that have infiltrated the country through the open border. Don't think about anything like that. So this balloon, even though we don't know what it is, we're going to say it's not a threat. So <laughs> stop asking questions. <laughs> Let's look at a news clip to get a little bit of insight because like I said, we don't really know what's going on, but let's get a little insight on this situation. U.S. and Canadian defense officials are tracking a high altitude balloon first spotted over Utah. You'll probably remember that this incident brings to mind that Chinese spy balloon shot down just over a year ago. ABC's Karen Travers joins us live from the White House. Karen, good morning to you. This one not shot down. Good morning, Janae. That balloon is now likely over the Atlantic Ocean after moving quickly across the U.S. overnight. It was allowed to continue flying because officials say it posed no threat to national security. Still, NORAD fighter jets intercepted that small balloon over Utah on Friday morning. It was flying at an altitude of 43 to 45,000 feet. And a U.S. official tells us that the balloon is about 50 feet tall with a two-foot cube payload. Still unknown who launched that balloon, what its mission may be, and what is inside that payload. But important to note, the FAA says that the balloon posed no danger to flight safety. Of course, this does remind everybody about that Chinese spy balloon that just over a year ago was spotted flying across the United States. That was sparking big tensions at the time between the two countries. It was very different. It was much bigger. The payload on that Chinese spy balloon was the size of three buses, and President Biden ordered it shot down off the coast of South Carolina. Now, with this balloon, there are still a lot of questions. The White House so far is not commenting, but Geo, we are told that President Biden is tracking this. So they're saying this balloon is much smaller than a balloon from about a year ago. And they've decided to not shoot it down. They just watched this thing go from Colorado all the way across the East Coast. And allegedly NORAD was monitoring it, but we don't know. It could have been collecting information. They're trying to say, oh, nothing to see here. And I think one of the reasons why, and this is going to go to the U.S. war in the Middle East, too. One of the reasons why they didn't shoot it down is because it's extremely expensive. Last year, they sent an F-22 Raptor, <laughs> the best fighter jet that the U.S. has. They sent this thing up there <laughs> to shoot down this thing. It used a Sidewinder missile. The cost of this operation, the cost of sending this F-22 up there and shooting down a spy balloon was half a million dollars. So they sent this very cheap tech. The United States ops, the Houthis, the Chinese, the Iranians, the Russians, they're using very inexpensive technology <laughs> to basically drain the US's resources. The Houthis are over there sending up drones that cost a couple of thousand dollars. 
they just shoot a couple of drones. They'll shoot like three or four drones at a naval destroyer. And a naval destroyer has to spend millions and millions and millions of dollars just to defend itself from these drones. Or they'll send a couple of cheap items at a cargo ship up there. And again, the U.S. Navy spends millions of dollars to stop a very inexpensive attack. It's a war of attrition. And the same thing has happened with Hezbollah in Israel, with Hamas in Israel. They're using expensive U.S. tech. Very, very expensive. These missiles, these fighter jets, all of this stuff is extremely expensive. So that's one of the reasons why they didn't want to shoot down this spy balloon because it's just way too costly. You spend a couple of hundred dollars or whatever, maybe a couple of thousand dollars to make these balloons, depending on the payload, really. You spend a very low price to make these balloons, send it across the United States, and they spend a ton of money just to stop it. And like I said, they're trying to tell us, oh, there's nothing to see here. It could have been an amateur balloonist. <laughs> I never heard that term before, balloonist. But they're trying to say, oh, it was just some random person in the United States who let up a balloon. That's the new story. But again, we have a ton of Chinese nationals, illegal immigrant Chinese nationals have crossed the border. At one point, Chinese was the second highest ethnicity crossing the border. People say, oh, well, it's the Mexicans and it's the... People from Nicaragua and Honduras and Guatemala. No, the second highest population, it was the Mexicans first, and then it was Chinese. And you will say, what the hell? How the hell is that happening? Because obviously, China is sending military-aged men to South America, to Central America, and then they just walk up across the border into the United States. So we don't know how many illegal immigrant Chinese nationals are in the United States. So if it is some amateur balloonist, is it a Chinese spy? Because if China wants to get some information... They sent this giant balloon across the Pacific Ocean. We first contacted it in Alaska. What would be easier is they just use their illegal immigrant Chinese nationals to just do stuff from within the country. Again, we don't know how many of them are in here. And we know a lot of them are in contact with the Chinese mainland. So these guys could be letting them spy balloons. So if the balloon did pop up locally in Colorado, where the United States has some extremely sensitive military tech, was it from an illegal immigrant Chinese national? Was it from a spy? Was it from U.S. opposition? We don't know. But again, the United States feds are trying to say, oh, there's nothing to see here. Don't worry about that. Worry about what we try to tell you to worry about. See, the government, they love controlling thought. They want to control the minds of the people. So they use the mainstream media, which is the arm, the mouthpiece of the government to push out narrative that they want the American people to believe. They want to say, oh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh, Bidenomics is a success. Oh, COVID-19 is the worst disease in human history, worse than a black death. They want the American people to focus on what they say. But when people start asking the question, well, what is this spy balloon? What are they doing? Is there some type of payload? Is there some type of biological chemical weapon? Is there some type of threat to the people? Hey, look, don't worry about that. We don't want you talking about that. So nothing to see here. Let's change the narrative. In fact, they've already sent out word to the media and you can look up the spy balloon and you will see several news outlets have the same headline. Because again, these guys are not writing up stories on their own. They're not coming up with their own narratives because that would be too much of a coincidence. You won't have 20 different media companies having the same headline. It's because the DNC is sending word out to New York Times, to CNN, CBS. This is the headline. This is the story you need to push. So when you look them up, they're all saying the same thing. Because, again, the government is controlling the narrative. We don't know what the hell is going on. Is it a threat? We don't know. But <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.